Hi everyone, welcome back to Magic Carpet. The past few days have been a whirlwind of just cleaning everything up, getting everything ready to leave, but we're going. We're heading out. The boat will be waiting for us next time we arrive. We're about to head out for a summer of sailing in Northern Europe. We are back. Back to the Netherlands and back to Magic Carpet 1. Comparing the projects, um, this one is so easy and manageable. Yeah. I'm almost um, about to string up the hammock. <laughs> <laughs> After two years of only refits and no sailing, it's time to change that. This summer, we'll be sailing Magic Carpet 1 in Scandinavia. I'm so happy. We've got a whole season of voyaging and adventuring coming up soon. And there's a special reason why I wanted to come here that I haven't told you about yet. But first, there's just a little bit more to do before we put Magic Carpet 1 back into the water. So yeah, um, let me bring you guys up to speed of what's missing and what will happen. So we do have four to five bigger overarching projects. One thing is installing the windows again, then applying one component varnish over the eight layers of two component. Then the decks are white and very slippery at the moment. Oh yeah, the fourth is uh, since I have made changes on the cabin top of like hardware placement and also a few repairs and patches over the years, I do want to paint the cabin top as well again. And then lastly, it's installing all the hardware again. Uh, I've started with that on the deck. So let's get to it. The windows on these beautiful Vinda sailboats can sometimes pose a problem. Not only are they prone to leaking, but they can also endanger the mahogany cabin top since the frames are secured with screws. So Aladino filled all the old screw holes with epoxy and he'll bed the glass down with Zikaflex for hopefully leak-free windows. I'm being generous with the tape and I'm getting a white strip on it just because working with Zikaflex can get messy, so... window installer yeah. uh, but now I am overly confident because I have a system that I checked out yesterday <laughs> and one thing that I learned is that when I taped with the yellow one in the curves there is too much resistance in the tape still and it lifts off mm. so I'm using this one which has more sticky stuff in it by the way I want to make note that we've done something a little bit sneaky 
You may remember from Magic Carpet 2 that we got a big box of sample lights from a company called Bot System in Sweden. But going through that process made us realize how bad the lighting has always been on Magic Carpet 1. And so we brought over a few of those sample pieces that we won't be using. And we've installed this one. Now the light itself is not something to look at. It's just the glow that it gives because the light that we had here, I don't know if you remember, but it always flickered on camera and it looked terrible. But this is now so nice and light and warm and I'm just so happy. <laughs> As the windows get longer, there is more curvature in them. So I'm making little wood battens to hold the glass tightly in place at the ends. One thing to keep in mind, our boat has mineral glass windows, real glass. It's not Lexan, it's not plexiglass. That just makes a difference in what uh, sealant you use. Uh, we are working with Sikaflex and Sikaflex has some for either organic glass or for mineral glass. For what we need, um, it is 296. And this is the primer, 206. But more on that later. Um, now I am still doing some prep work. I am scuffing it up, only at the very perimeter, of course. The gap that the window goes in is of course bigger than the window itself. But anyway, I want to get the glass in here with even spacing. Um, if I just plop it in place, it comes down of course, it sits on the bottom and there is much more room on the top. So to have it sit level, I actually made a little um, Sikaflex sausage. It's the same <laughs> material that I'm going to use to seal it. And now I can just chip off tiny little spaghetti bits. Um, There's I've, something so funny to me about a Sikaflex sausage. <laughs> I've made different uh, ones because I didn't know how big the gaps would be, uh, but I've determined that the smallest one does perfectly for me now. So now I can actually just place two or three of those tiny beads in here. And if I set the window onto those, then now I have the even spacing that I want. Aladino worked slowly and carefully, taking his time. We want to slow down for a moment. It's always a mad rush whenever we're working on Magic Carpet 2, and now we just want to take a moment to breathe and actually enjoy the work. A thing of mega wow. A thing of mega wow. Or a thing of wonder. Indeed. <laughs> Isn't there something though to spring outside and the birds chirping and us trying to work as slowly as possible? It is quite lovely. It feels luxurious. It does. But the funny thing is that because we are not in a rush and not in a hurry, I am actually trying to make things the most complicated way possible. 
Well, I did notice, I mean, even this last time on the boat, on Magic Carpet 2, I mean, mm -hmm. the first time we were there, we had six months. And the second time we were there, we had three months. Yeah. And I worked so much harder and faster in the three months than I did in the six. Oh, yeah, totally. Because yeah. we knew there's that finite time. Yeah. And it's not sustainable. I mean, I think there's a reason why we both got sick the moment we left the project. But it's good for the boat, I suppose. And it will be good for future us. Everything is ready for primer now. I was told to shake it. Now I had a few things uh, that needed to be done. Okay, Dean, shaking it and talking is gonna make for really bad audio. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. So many dusts, I told you before. It sparkles, <coughs> it's a sparkle effect. Oh, I see. <laughs> Aladino painted the primer onto the carefully prepared windows. We both feel really calm and relaxed right now. This is kind of the beginning of the holiday season for us. Soon we'll get to make sailing and travel films again for the first time in two years. And the refit here will be relatively quick and painless. Most of it doesn't involve big tools and Tyvek suits and huge amounts of dust. It's more finishing work with satisfying results. The windows will go back in, the mahogany will gleam with fresh varnish. Is that the Cicaflex? And what you can see as well is that the viscosity of uh, this is very different. Okay, it's the moment. Is the window going in now? Yes. Wow. Look at that. Da, 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 da. You got all your little Sika sausages all lined up. Gosh, it's such a lovely summer day after this. So there's actually a restaurant that's opened in the boatyard, which is new. We should go have a beer on the restaurant terrace. Now I go check inside. <laughs> One track mind. <laughs> yes, beer. Sounds good. Okay. You don't want to press it all the way in. I do want to get it flush with the cabin top, but also you do want to have a little bit of cushioning Sika in place. <laughs> Aladino is in peak Aladino at the moment. <laughs> He's muttering to himself. <laughs> How can it be more perfect? It's not quite perfect enough, it can always be more perfect, says the Aladino. <laughs> Here. You see? Oh, what did I tell you? Mostly here. <laughs> These are going to be the best installed windows ever on a Vinda. Ah. Vinda owners are pretty finicky people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, that's it for the first one. Now for the tensioning device? Yeah. Okay. One. And so then you screw this in place. Exactly. And you've got tape on it so that it doesn't stick to the Sika? Yes. With plastic tape. Now, to let it all dry, we'll check on it again tomorrow. Time for a beer check. <laughs> Echt ne?
Better than a beer. Her tachyan. In a Heineken glass. Can't get more Dutch. Cheers. Cheers. Good morning, Eladino. So the windows are in and they're looking beautiful. Uh, ideally, I would have removed the tape earlier, but it is time now. I saw you singing in a photograph But I never learned your name Then it wasn't long I fell in love And hoped you'd feel the same So you told me come on It looks beautiful, Aladino. Hey, thank you. Um, I was chasing air bubbles uh, with a toothpick. Uh, <laughs> that is because you remember that I had the little sausages put the glass windows on. But at the very end, I decided that this Cicaflex was viscous enough that the window wouldn't sag on me. So I did leave the very tiny ones because they're literally submerged in the Cicaflex. But these ones here were protruding. So I didn't, I, I wasn't entirely sure how it would go, so I just removed them afterwards, but that created an air bubble. Uh, so yeah, I just um, cut out a little bit and I filled it up. So that's just curing again. But now let's get to the big question that some of you may be waiting for. You may remember that last time we were with Magic Carpet One, we removed her teak decks. That was a big decision, but we left one part of that decision unresolved. Are we going to glue the teak back down now that we've removed all the screw holes, or are we going to do away with the teak entirely and paint non-skid onto the decks? We've been thinking a lot about it and we've reached a conclusion. Uh, we have decided to go with non-skid just for simplicity, um, gluing back down 40-year-old teak that's been saturated with silicone. It just didn't seem like the right move, and I think the non-skid will look quite beautiful still. So with the decision made, we now had to choose a paint. So first thing is determining a brand, and we have done so. Epiphanes is one of our favorite um, yacht paints. After that, it's about choosing the system. Are you doing one component or two component paint? I have chosen two component polyurethane. It is just uh, more durable, so that is my choice. And then within that, um, these, this color card shows you the options. And also, uh, we're not uh, celebrating carnival, so I can close the very colorful pages in the back. So basically, um, these ones are the ones that we have to choose from. And I was just discussing it with Maya. Some, they go towards yellow, some go towards gray. And now we don't think gray would suit this boat too much. So these are out of the question again. And then we have the ones that go more towards yellow. We personally don't like too yellow too much. It could go on some boats, but we don't want to add too much distraction uh, with what is going on already. We want white and we want to highlight the mahogany cabin top. So there is one actually that is very close to the white and it does have a very slight um, pink or, or reddish tint, uh, which we think might make it all pop instead of being the highlight itself. Um, so I think I think we got a winner. Um, we might order some 848 of uh, polyurethane for the non-skid. It's a very subtle difference from the bright white base layer that's currently on the decks, but I do want the decks to look like a mostly true white instead of a cream or off-white. I think the brightness works well with the dark mahogany, and plus then it will match the cabin top and the hull better. So decision made, and pretty soon we'll be applying paint and varnish to the whole exterior.
but that will have to wait for the next episode. Don't worry, we don't have too many refit episodes coming up. Pretty soon, we're going to be out on the water again, exploring new places on board our magic carpet. Huge thank you everybody for watching, and extra big thanks to our patrons for making these episodes possible. We appreciate every single one of you. And an extra, extra big thanks to the folks whose names are now appearing on screen for always going the extra mile to make sure Magic Carpet keeps being produced. We will see you all next Friday.